Hmm. I always found this story to be fascinating because I believe there's a lot more to it. When Ananias heard these words, he fell down and breathed his last. Why would God kill Ananias? I mean, yes, he lied. Absolutely. But God makes a point to be like, no, 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 this is unacceptable. Huh. Oh my goodness, they are doing so incredible. Look at everybody over here setting up camp. The Holy Spirit is with us. We are moving with it. And obviously he's making an impact because these people were lazy about a week ago. But it is great that they are doing everything. Thomas, I absolutely love seeing this. They got the tents over there. Peter, Ananias has held back money from the Lord. Confront him. Hmm. Thomas, where's Ananias at? He is with his wife. Can you please get him for me? I need to speak to him about something that I just thought about. Of course I can. Thank you. Lord, please tell me this man is not going to lie to me as I try to ask him this question. Oh, this is going to be... Let your will be done, Lord. Ah, here, he, here he comes, here he comes. Ah, here hello, comes. Peter. Peter, am I, am I interrupting you? I've been told Thomas said you wanted to speak to me. Ah, shalom, Ananias. Yes, come, please. I need to talk to you. It is a serious, important thing that we must talk. Come. Come. Wonderful, wonderful. Can I tell you, the day yes, 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 I yes. just tasted. I fully understand. However, there is an urgent matter at hand, and I must ask you now to look me in the eyes. No, I understand. It is important. Uh, let's, 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 let's discuss whatever it is you're saying. We need to discuss. Look at me. Look at me. Yes, I am. I am looking. We're about to get very serious. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand that I need you to be very serious right now? Okay, what the, what the, what is the what do you have to ask me? I'm getting a little worried here, Peter. <laughs> Look at me. Look. Have you lied about your contribution? Excuse me? No, I. Ananias, Ananias, please I I just want you to be honest. This is a good moment for you to do this. I promise you that it probably would be to your best benefit to go ahead and just Is it true? I have not, I have not kept anything. I have not lied. I have not kept anything from anybody. <laughs> no, you see, I would love to believe you. But here's the problem. You have not lied to men. You have lied to God. Why have you contrived this in your heart to lie to the Holy Spirit? What do you mean? Well, you, 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 you see. I'm sorry, Ananias. I tried. I tried to ask you and you could not be honest. And now, Peter, if you could just listen to me for one moment. It has Peter, to happen. Please. Okay, I understand how this probably looks, Peter. I understand how it probably sounds. I, I think I misheard you. You understand? I have tinnitus. It is a very serious condition. It's a, always a ringing in my ear. I actually think I misheard you. Peter, let me, just, let me just talk to you. Please, can you talk to the Lord for me? Peter, I promise you. Oh, my goodness. Peter, what is going to... Oh, my Yo! goodness. Oh, my. What the... Oh! Oh! There you go. Hmm. Poor, poor guy. Peter, can you? Now, where's his wife at? What do you mean, where's my wife? No, what is, what do you mean? You know, now that I think about it, it makes sense. Ananias is the first double-minded Christian. Someone who acts like they want everything God offers, but doesn't want to let go of the world. They pretend to trust God, but at the same time, if you trusted him, wouldn't you give it all? Why are you still holding on? Is that your backup plan? I wonder how many Christians today have backup plans and don't realize that they're not giving 100% of their faith to God. Man, that's deep.